Hello guys, uh, this is MGSPW13 here, and I know it's been a while, I haven't posted things since a long time ago, so I'm posting a video now, this is a instructional video of how to install a mod for Star Wars Empire War, and the expansion too. I haven't played this game in a while, but I still remember how to do it, so I'm going to make one now, because I never did before, and I forgot to, so I'm sorry about that. But I know a few people have been asking me about it because they don't know how to, so I'm going to do it. And here is my desktop, and I have the mod right here. And notice the title is different than what was in the video I made of it, but it's the same mod. So how you do it is, well, first you download it. See, I have it on my desktop here, but you download it from their website. And all the link has been, the link is weird, but... uh it's not, I mean, you all you have to do is type the title in on Google, and it, the fir it should be the first thing that pops up. I mean, it's a pretty, it's like, it's the exact name of the mod, so it's a specific thing. So when you type it in, it should instantly pop up the link to the page where you download it. So you do that, you have it here, and the next part is you have to find where all your files of the game are located. So here are my two links to start the game, but we're going to have to, um find where the files are which is not that hard and if you install it using the default settings which you should have if you didn't re uninstall and reinstall it with the default settings it will give you like when you install it it will have two options saying uh, uh, recommended settings or custom settings and it says custom settings are recommended for administrators only or people that know what they're doing so I would just go with the regular default stuff and when you do that it should install all the data in your drive in your C drive Here's my extra D drive. You don't want to go in there. If you have one, don't do that. So double click on your C drive, and here's all your C drive crap. If you have two program file folders like I do, go for the one that says x86, because that's where it is. Other than that, it should just be in your program file. See, I have two. So just look for it in there. And you go inside. I'm going to the x86 one, by the way. And you'll go down, and it should be in... Uh, wait, did I go on the... I might have gone to the... Okay, I did. Here is the folder LucasArts, because these two games are made by LucasArts. And Petroglyph, the two companies. So you double-click. And here you have the f two game folders for both of the games. I have both. So, this mod, I believe, it, yeah, it's for Forces of Corruption, the expansion pack, or the expansion game. So, it doesn't work on the regular. Go in. Here's all your shit... Or your stuff, sorry, I didn't even say that. And now you go in your mod. See, it has this data folder here and the data folder here. Those are exactly the same, except there's only a few things in here. And how this works is you're going to have to create some a few folders in here. See how in the mod there's a folder that says XML in all caps? You're going to have to create one in here too, like I already did. It's blank. Now, the mod is based on XML files. See, these are all let's go over here, XML document. That's the type of file the mod is based off of. And in the art, you'll have the models and the textures, which is like all the when you play the game, all like the stuff you see, the what actually looks like the spaceship. That's the art, the textures. Now, the reason why you have to create the XML folder is just because. Uh, the XML folders you have to drag and drop into the game. The game can read XMLs, but the reason why there weren't any XMLs already there for the game itself, that the default game, is because they were all packed into one big file, like an MEG here, dot MEG. These files are like hundreds of thousands of XMLs all packed in the one. They compressed them. And unfortunately, it would have been easier to uncom if you could un uncompress these to find all the default game files, but you can't do that. Not with any program I know. So you have to create a folder type, all caps XML, so that the game will read it properly. And then you drag and drop these into there, into the XML folder you have here. I know that sounded kind of confusing for those that don't know what these how some of these games work very well. But just create a new folder, drag and drop these files into it. And there shouldn't be too many like problems with that. It's kind of easy. So. Also, you have after that, after you get the XMLs in there, you only go to text. Now, this text, I don't know exactly what it's for in the game, but you have to put it in for it to work. Now, if you go into your default text folder in your game, you'll two. 
<clears throat> excuse me. In the mod, you only have one you'll need to replace. And I wouldn't replace it first time, because in case anything goes wrong, you'll have to have the original for the game to work right. Without this file, or any one of these, it won't work. So, I'd keep this as a backup, because remember, this is your default. If anything goes wrong, you're, and like it doesn't work at all, and you take all the other mod stuff out, you have to have the original master text file English for it to work. So, And notice how this is in caps, and this isn't, so you can tell which one's the mod and which one isn't. So you would replace that, but first make a copy or drag that out somewhere and put it somewhere you will remember where it is because you don't want to lose that either. So you replace that and then go back on both. And now you have your art. Now art is the biggest. It's the textures are a lot more space. Take a lot more space, so it takes a long time to transfer all the stuff from the text. But unfortunately, because this mod's only one ship, the executor and the eclipse, for don't forget the eclipse, that all you have to do is there's not much there. So you drag and drop all the art into. Oh, right, I forgot. Like I did with the XML, you have to create a folder. You also have to create a new folder titled art. So create new folder. You will have to have. Actually, no, wait, I already did that, but you have to have administrative properties or whatever permissions to mess with your game crap. Any installed program you have to mess with it, all the folders inside it, you have to have administrative capabilities. So, well this is on Windows 7 anyway, that's for Windows 7. And Windows XP you don't have to do that, so if you have XP you can just do it normally. But, just type in art. Note, note that this is not in all caps, just the first letters capitalized. So create art, and then you drag and drop everything in there. And that should be it. Um, I mean, unless you want the audio, but actually, you know, there is no audio for this. So. And there's a bunch of other stuff in the mod that you don't have to have. You're just like fun stuff. So, and that's how to install the mod. This this works generally for all almost all mods. There are a lot more stuff, like a lot more junk, in some of the bigger mods because this is only one ship. But yeah, that's the basic idea. You get it. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions or problems, please like tell me on my YouTube page. So, yeah, thank you for watching.